Well, here we are at one of my favorite Eastern North Carolina rivers, uh, trying to catch some stripers in the wintertime. It's the end of January, and uh, we're, dri we're doing a little drift here with some soft plastics. Um, we have a great winter striper fishery in uh, most of our coastal rivers uh, from about December through March, and uh, catch these uh, smaller juvenile resident stripers that are primarily 15 to 30 inches in size uh, on these lighter spinning rods and um, one of the one of the tactics that we use the most is jigging soft plastics on, on a 3 8 to a half ounce jig head so we're fishing in current and what we do is we'll, we'll toss our, our baits out there and let them let them sit uh, let them sink in the current down to the bottom until they get to the bottom it, it sometimes can take a while in the current so when it hits the bottom we, we, we snatch the bait up and then let it fall right back down to the bottom and usually we get our bite on the fall these are very aggressive fish and that big vibration in the water attracts them even though the water might be muddy they, 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 they maybe can't see it very well but they can sense it through their lateral lines so they, they have no trouble finding these baits but the key is to let it sink all the way to the bottom and keep that line tight when you feel it hit the bottom you want to lift it up off the bottom and then let it fall right back down that's when you're going to have your bite and maybe i'll get one right here in a second if i'm lucky but we most of the time in our depth rivers we fish three eighths to half ounce when the water's up high and it's at flood stage and the current's faster we'll move to a half ounce i don't ever usually fish anything um heavier than a half ounce but usually a three eighths to a half ounce is our range of, of weights uh what we'll do is we'll fish a um I usually fish an unpainted jig head. This happens to be a three inch uh, swim bait, which is a great just all purpose bait for stripers. Uh, but we use a lot of four inches and five inch swim baits as well as four and five inch uh, jerk, soft plastic jerk baits. Same style jig head. This is Z-Man, which is one of my favorite brands. And I use a, uh, a this is a custom poured head that, that has a double barb so that the, the Z-Man plastic can seat, can seat itself really well up on the jig head. And uh, that way, when a fish hits it, it won't, it won't pull it down. Well, if you put what I told you about fishing soft plastics in these rivers to practice, this is the result right here. A bent rod and a nice striper on the line. This one's taking a little bit more drag than I thought he was. I'm going to have to tighten it up just a little to get him into the boat here. He's a nice one. And this is about as much fun as you can have in the winter in North Carolina, in my opinion. Nice fish. That's what fishing soft plastics is all about in the wintertime.